Hi everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome to my 2021 knit lookbook. I wanted to share with you the garments that I made for myself last year and instead of going in the order I made them, I thought it would be fun to go by seasons starting with spring. First is the Up in the Cloud sweater by Camille Knit. It's made with two strands of Knitting for Olive soft silk mohair in the color Unicorn Purple. I really like this pattern because of the lace sleeve and I just love how fluffy and soft it is. When I touch it and hold it on its own, it definitely feels like I'm holding a cloud. I think it's perfect for spring because it does keep you warm but at the same time it is still light and airy. And I really love this light purple color. It reminds Reminds me of flowers blossoming in the spring. Paired with a denim pinafore and Doc Martens, I think it makes for a soft look with a little edge. The next garment is vest number no. 2 spring edition by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I knitted this in Rowan Kitsilk Haze in the color Ghost and Cascade Yarns Heritage in Steel. To be honest, the Rowan mohair was a little rough at first. I think washing did improve it, but it's not my favorite mohair. I really do like how this vest turned out though. I think it makes a great layering piece and I love wearing it over this white button up with this skirt. I think the color matches perfectly. It feels like spring or it looks like I'm ready to spend the day namjooning to go to a museum or go to the park for a picnic or spend the day in the library reading. I've also got my white sneakers on so I feel very Asian right now. Get ready for some Belinda duality. With my leftover Cascade Heritage yarn, I decided to make the Costal Tank by Teresa Lamb. It's a cropped twisted rib tank and I wore it as my concert outfit to see BTS PTD in LA. The outfit was inspired by BTS's stage looks for the song On. I actually made this skirt myself the day before I had to fly out for the concert and I decided to add some chains just because they're fun. And BTS also wears a lot of chains with their on outfits. I paired it with this sparkly diamond choker that I sewed as well. It's inspired by Namjoon's diamond choker and I think one of the members did wear something similar with their on outfits. To complete the look, I added this white big bomber, my army bomb, and some white heels. Wearing this outfit, I just felt really proud being able to say that most of it I made myself. Ta -da! I bet you did not expect me to jump in my 4 inch stilettos, but here I am with my next summer knit. It is also by Teresa Lamb. It is the Arcuate top. I was able to participate as a test knitter for this pattern and I used the yarn Malabrigo Ario in Fuchsia. It's a cabled one shoulder cropped top and I love it in this bright hot pink color because pink is such a great color. I decided to pair it with some wide leg denim and my yellow sandals. I think it makes for a bright, happy summer outfit. But I'm also knitting a cardigan in the same color to make a set for those colder evenings or the other seasons. Hello autumn or still summer when I take this blazer off. This top is something that I designed myself. It was inspired by a top that Rosé from Blackpink wore and it's a cabled halter top with an I-cord that you can tie around your neck. It was knit in Barocco Pima 100 in the color 9401 and it is a cotton yarn. And thank goodness for that because this top took me a while to make and I restarted it probably over 10 times because of the fit. In the end, I am really happy with how it turned out. It has some shaping where at the waist is more narrow and it gets a little bigger as it goes up. It's got a couple different cable patterns and I think paired with this skirt, it gives for some fun light academia vibes. For another academia inspired outfit, I have this super chunky cable knit vest. I designed the pattern myself and used the yarn Malabrigo Rasta in the color Coronilla. Since I designed it, I also knitted it 
more than one time. The first time it was a little smaller than this. Then I decided to get another ball of yarn and this is what I ended up with. It's still on the fitted side but I like how it turned out and it's perfect for the colder months of fall and winter. It's also a great outfit for a dance cover of The Feels by Twice. I think it matches their preppy plaid looks from the music video. I actually filmed the process of designing and making it because I wanted to make a pattern but I never never really finished it, so if that's something that you're interested in, definitely let me know. Hello winter for real. This is the Honeycomb Erin sweater by Yarnspirations. I made it in Malabrigo Rios in the color natural. This was actually my first knit of 2021. I was inspired by Jungkook's look from the Daikon magazines. He had this giant, giant cabled white sweater and I thought it was so cute. So I wanted to make my own giant cable knit sweater. And you can see it's oversized, it's cozy, it's warm, it's soft and super cute. Jungkook also had a collared white shirt underneath so I wore one as well and I added my Chanel pin since he also had a pin in the photo shoot and I think it's just really cute. It adds a little sparkle to the outfit. And that's it for my 2021 knit lookbook. It felt like I did a lot more knitting but some were gifts and a lot were re-knits. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!